Welcome to Movement and Function. Today I'm going to show you three fantastic techniques for foam rolling muscle knots out of your hamstrings, iliotibial band or IT band, and your quadricep muscles. Now I'm using um, just a standard foam roller here that is six inches in diameter and three feet long. This works great. Um, there are a variety of different foam rollers you can choose from. The three foot long foam rollers work really well for this as well. The first muscle group that we're going to roll is the hamstrings. Start with the foam roller underneath your thigh with one leg bent, foot flat on the surface, and the other leg straight out. So now I'm going to focus on the right hamstring here. And I'm leaning back on my hands in a comfortable position. Keep a small bend in your elbows. We'll roll forward and backward on the roller. So I'm using my foot and my hands here for support, for balance, and I'm putting as much weight as possible through the right hamstring so that I can really feel that rolling action. So you want to move from the base of the buttocks to the back of the knee. If you notice a particular sore, tender muscle knot, then you could stay on that area for a little bit and then go ahead and continue rolling the entire muscle. Continue rolling for two to five minutes. If this is the first time you've used a foam roller, keep the session short, maybe just one minute. As you know that your body tolerates it well, feel free to add more time and go for longer sessions. Once you've completed your time on one side, go ahead and lower that heel and switch legs. Extend the other leg, bend the knee, and roll the other hamstring. Continue for two to five minutes, and then you're finished with the hamstrings. We'll move on to the iliotibial band, or IT band. All right, the iliotibial band runs along the side of the thigh. It originates from the tensor fascia lata muscle, or TFL. The IT band is a thin but wide strip of tissue that runs all the way down into the side of the knee. Now we don't want to roll all the way up into the bone here on the side of the hip. Bones do not like to be rolled on the foam roller. So we want to keep the foam roller below that bone. So about right here and down to the side of the knee. You don't want to roll over the knee joint itself. Okay, so to get into the position there, I'm going to go up onto the side of my thigh. Now I'm going to move my left foot across my right leg and bring my left hand forward onto the mat here. So get your arms comfortable, get your foot comfortable, and move up onto the foam roller so that the side of your thigh is focused on that foam roller. And now using your left foot and your hands, roll yourself forward and backward on the foam roller. Again, keeping the foam roller between the top part of your knee and the bottom part of the hip bone here. Now, similar to the hamstrings, if you find a tender trigger point that you want to work out, stop in that area and just go back and forth. Shoot for about two to five minutes total. If this is your first time rolling the IT band, keep the session short. Maybe just 30 seconds is all you need. This can be an intense rolling technique. All right, once you've finished on one side, then you'll roll over and do the other side. Okay, moving on to the final muscle group, the quadriceps, which are located on the front of the thigh. So start by facing your foam roller um, with your knees on the ground just in front of the foam roller and bring your hands across and then lower your legs onto the foam roller just above the knee. You'll roll your body back and forth across the foam roller. For the quadricep muscles, it works just fine to do them both at the same time. So rolling out to the top of the thigh and then roll down to the bottom of the thigh just above the knee. Continue rolling back and forth. Similar to the other two muscle groups, if you find a tight trigger point you want to work on, then stop on that spot and just roll back and forth over a small area until you've had enough and you want to continue rolling the entire muscle. All right, shoot for about two to five minutes. Again, if this is the first time rolling that muscle group, then keep it to a shorter session, maybe about a minute or so, and then build up day by day as your tissues get used to the foam rolling. I hope you find these foam rolling techniques helpful for alleviating trigger points, muscle knots, general aches and pains from your leg muscles, specifically your hamstrings, your iliotibial bands, and your quadriceps. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. 
Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.